I was supposed to fly ANA Airways to Japan, but instead I got rebooked on United. Here's how that went. So originally I booked an ANA flight using United points and they are Star Alliance partners. So that's why you're able to do this. The flight gets canceled due to a typhoon. And unfortunately I am left with no options to rebook on ANA. So I ended up having to book on United. It is definitely not my first choice for an international flight. In fact, I usually recommend against using an US airline for international flights. So we're flying economy today and these are the seats. It looks newish and sleek, but the seats were very uncomfortable. The flight was about 10 or 11 hours and my bottom started hurting after a few hours from the seats. There's an okay amount of leg room in front of you. I would say this is about average. There is a small tray table in front of you and once you open that up, you don't really have any room to move your body forward. And if the person in front of you reclines the chair, you're gonna have almost no room to eat or drink. It's gonna be very, very tight. These have to be the most narrow airplane seats I've ever sat on. And the person sitting next to you, your thigh is definitely going to be touching theirs for the duration of the flight. Pretty horrendous for a long haul flight. I'm gonna have to rate the comfort of their seats as a three out of 10. An average amount of leg room in front of you, but the seats are extremely uncomfortable and very narrow. The overhead bin space was small and you could tell a lot of people were nervous about getting their carry on luggage on board. They do give you a neck pillow, which was fine. It was a little bit scratchy if that makes sense, but the blanket they gave you was great quality. They also gave you a pair of headphones, which the audio quality when you're watching movies is pretty bad. One area that United did well in is their selection of different movies and shows available for Americans. I feel like this is one area where the US airlines have an advantage over their European or Japanese or Asian counterparts. So in terms of amenities, I would have to rate them as a 5.5 out of 10. Fairly average in this category. Let's talk about their customer service. So this is going to be with flight attendants. Out of the five flight attendants, I interacted with on this flight, only one was somewhat nice. The other four were pretty nasty and it seemed like they really hated their jobs. I felt so bad for the person sitting next to me. She was a vegetarian and when she asked for a vegetarian meal during meal time, the flight attendant flat out yelled at her and told her that you should have done it ahead of time, which is true, but there's a way nicer way to communicate that. And the flight attendants didn't even try to make an accommodation for her. So she missed two meals and basically did not eat for about 11 hours. Going to rate the service as two and a half out of 10. Pretty horrendous and one of the worst I've ever seen on any airline. I'm going to rate the food after the second meal. This is the first one. So you have a roll, you have brownies, you have a bean salad, and you have chicken. Their main meal of chicken was a little bit odd. I did not like it at all. Not only that, but they decided to mix noodles with rice for some reason. I mean, who does that? It's like they saw two predominantly Asian carbs and they're like, oh, let's mix it together. The bean salad was pretty bland. And for dessert, it was a brownie, which was not that great either. I mean, how do you mess that up? It's already prepackaged. Does no one taste test this stuff? Doesn't seem that way. I don't really have a problem with flying with United on domestic flights. And that's because the flights are usually very short, two or three hours. So if you have uncomfortable seats, you're not not gonna be there very long anyway so that's not usually an issue but anything going towards like eight hours or 10 hours or 11 hours you need comfortable seats and this flight just doesn't do it in economy if you are still planning to fly united to go to japan i'd highly recommend premium economy seats at least it's very obvious by the flight experience and seating arrangement that United only cares about maximizing their profits for one flight and doesn't care about a customer's flight experience. Okay, so this is the last meal of the flight. We have some chicken, we have some vegetables, we have some rice and a cookie. And the verdict was that this was really, really bad. The worst meal I've ever had on a flight. The cookie was pretty garbage too, very stale and rock hard. And that right there, I mean, come on, you could have picked out a better cookie from a different vendor. I'm going to rate their food as a two out of 10. I think they have a lot of work to do in this area and they made some pretty bad choices in terms of the food selection. In terms of how smooth the flight was, there was a lot of turbulence throughout the flight and it just was very shaky. We're finally landing now and I could not be happier. The final rating I'm going to give this flight overall as a whole is 3.25 out of 10. Horrendous. Do not fly with them in economy class. My recommendations are if you're flying to Japan, unless you're flying in business class, please pick a different airline, one of the Japanese carriers. It is 100% worth it. Even if you have to pay more, go with ANA or Japan Airlines.